am checking out Ravenswood Memorial Park in Cinnamons in New Jersey. Now, this location that I'm fishing is not, there's a lake basically at this park that doesn't even really have a name. We're gonna call it Ravenswood Lake, even though the lake is not officially named. So I'm here at the park. There's, uh, to get in here, the way I came off of Route 73, there's a one lane bridge at, that goes over the Pensalkin Creek. And there's actually a couple spots right there that look like they were open to do some fishing in the, Ran uh, I'm sorry, Rancocas Creek, Pensalkin Creek. There is a couple spots right there with an opportunity to do some fishing uh, in the Pensalkin Creek. But that's not what I was here for. I was here for the lake that I was told about that is behind this particular park. This is an incredibly beautiful park. There is several well-maintained baseball fields. This is a dog walking area here. There's bocce ball courts. There's playgrounds. There's lots of people walking. There's a guy right near me. He's probably going to wonder what I'm doing. But there's three parking lots. There's a parking lot back here behind me. There's a parking lot over here. And I just found there's a parking lot back there, which is more on the back side of the lake. Back side, nearest to the lake that I wanted to check out. And there's also some restrooms over here that aren't open presently. There's even some hand sanitizer stations that are set around. And that's that. So I'm going to move my vehicle to a little bit closer section near the lake and then I'll show you guys some things from there. All right, so I guess it's listed as two separate parks. There's Memorial Park and Ravens Wood Park. They're essentially side by side. I would just the lake is actually on the Sentiments and Memorial Park side. Um, there's the parking lot right there. So not very far at all walk. And you can see here is sort of the one end of the lake and, the, and oh hey Hey there, little squirrel. The reason why I wanted to start filming now is because there's, there's some, there's definitely a lot of nature going on here. So you can see this, you see the crane right down below there and the turtles. I can't zoom in, I have my pole in my other hand. But uh, look at this guy. He's chill, oh, he's chilling like right next to a turtle too. Oh, he's about to take off. He's about to take off, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, did you see that? It looked like a, it looked like a fish, a fish or something moved like right there, uh, like right there in the water when he went by. So I'm just gonna come down here. I don't know how deep it is here. See some bobbers there. A lot of, um, I don't know if that's a fish. You guys see that? I don't know if that's a fish. I don't know if that's a fish out there or another turtle. Like right on top of the water, just sort of like flopping around out there. But uh, we're going to see. I'm going to throw in a few things here. Um, beautiful. Again, beautiful park. You can see this is actually very, very big lake. And I believe, not, I mean, I wouldn't say very, very big. But um, not a lot of spots to fish because of all the lily pads. But I believe down there, uh, it kind of opens up. And there's a, there's a some less lily pad. Okay, so my guess back there, guys, probably four to eight inches of water. Uh, maybe 10 inches if I hit a couple deep spots. A lot, definitely fish activity. I see even fish activity uh, right here. Um, I'm gonna try frog, try a couple other things. I just didn't wanna cut my Senko off yet until I got down here. So uh, this is, looks like the, the open spot down here. There is someone fishing. And it seems like there's only like three spots you can kind of get out to, but I'm gonna go down here and give it a shot. And uh, whether I catch one or not, I'll let you guys know what I think about this place. Just a quick shot here, guys, of the little trail that I'm taking to get down here. Um, there is someone right ahead, so I'm trying to be quiet. Also, don't want to spook the fish. Might even try it here. I'm not sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of just keep moving around, but uh, very beautiful little spot. Just heads up. At this point now, I'm probably walked probably a quarter, between a quarter and a half a mile from the car to this to this bridge up here. So. And just quiet, trying to be kind of quiet, but uh, as soon as I as soon as I walked up to this spot, I've seen a ton of panfish right here. I just kind of give you guys a view of the scent, of the uh, the spot. Okay, so no luck uh, in the little spot I was just at. Uh, there was a local, the the guy that was sitting there though. Um, 
been coming here for a while quite a bit and he said uh one thing he notices about this place is depending on the height of the creek pentalkin creek is you can tell by the bridge if the water is running out of this little pond or if the water is running in and from his experience it's always better fishing here when the water is running in right now it's running out a lot of little fish activity on the water but nothing really happening here he said he hasn't had any luck the past couple of days and was doing good a few weeks ago so uh that's just going to about do it here unless I do hit something. I'm going to throw, throw the frog in a few times on my way back to the parking lot and see how that goes. But uh, otherwise, pretty pretty positive marks. Uh, clean, cleanliness is pretty good, as you guys can see. So, give it another shot here in a few minutes and see you guys at the end. Well, guys, the snakehead, and uh, he kind of hammered. There was a frog on here at one point. He kind of hammered that thing. Woo! So, uh, yeah. First one of these guys I've actually caught in Jersey. And as far as I know, you're supposed to get rid of them. Ow! Greenhead fly just bit me. Um, not 100% sure. I might have to look that up real quick. But there you go. Nice size one. Yeah, so uh, I ended up doing a little bit of research, and that was a snakehead. You can tell uh, it's called the anal fin, which is on the underbelly of the fish. If it's a bow fin, he has a small one that's sort of on the underbelly, and then one that's more fin-shaped in the back called the anal fin. And the snakeheads have a solid one, which you can easily see in the video there. It's a solid fin all the way across on the bottom. And I did go to New Jersey um, Division of wildlife and they do suggest that you kill them so I cut its head off and I could not get the frog out so I lost my frog but I tell you what guys it's kind of fun to catch I know they're very invasive species of fish hence why I, I went ahead and disposed of it threw it back in the water I see a lot of activity through in here and it's again like i said you probably just seen some activity right here super shallow probably i probably caught that thing in about three to six inches of water is when he hit the frog and i see a lot more activity you can see the lily pads being moved and a lot of things so i'm feeling there's a lot of those things in here so if you enjoy catching them or have never caught one this might be a good spot to come try a topwater frog because they nailed that bad boy on about my eighth or ninth attempt but unfortunately i got no frog so now i'm down a yellow black frog that's not good um but hey that was pretty cool all right another sort of weird location here for in my outro but uh you do what you got to do right so memorial lake park the first thing i want to sort of touch on is the snakehead uh incident this is this is almost like a political campaign as in how crazy one side or the other is when it comes to what you should do when you catch uh, one of these snakehead fish. Um, I'm not going to get into too much of it right now. What I'm going to say is I will probably do a bonus episode at some point discussing uh, snakehead fish in New Jersey. And I've already started doing some research so uh, look forward to that coming soon as uh, somebody starts a car right behind me awesome all right let's start with location location uh i'm giving this uh, an eight it's one of the most beautiful public parks that i've been to in a while super maintained the parking area was decent couple of them the only reason it, it doesn't get a little bit higher is because it is such a high traffic public spot where there is a lot of nine fishermen activity. There's some ball fields. So if you're there when the when the games are going on, there's even more um, nine fishing activity in the area that you sort of have to contend with or walk around, or maybe some kids running around uh, down by the fishing waters, which are right near the ball fields. So that's why it gets an eight. Ease of access, I'm gonna give it a seven. And this is a generous seven because I feel that 
it's a even though the lake is really close to the one parking area there's still somewhat of a steep bank you got to walk down to get to the water and then unless you really want to just fish that super shallow lily pad sort of grassy area that's fine but if you want to fish some of the deeper spots or the clean you know more less weed spots of the lake it's a decent walk i would probably say up to like a quarter of a mile walk to get all the way back to uh the, the clearer spot of the lake and even when you get back there there was where i was fishing at one point it's a steep bank that i was sort of standing on it wasn't even a flat surface so uh, ease of access it gets a seven generous seven cleanliness i gotta go with 10. i did not see one piece of trash anywhere on the ground no fisherman trash no trash in, in, in the uh the fields or laying on any of the paths this is uh this can't get much better than that i mean there's I, I didn't see any trash at all so i mean there's no reason to just not give this a 10. the grass was maintained well so there you go cleanliness it gets a 10. overall i'm only going to give this a six and again, I think this is a little bit of a generous six. Now, keep it, yes, did I catch a fish here? Yes, I did. That it has nothing to do with my overall ratings. My overall ratings sort of take in everything that I just talked about in consideration and whether and how much really I would recommend this place for someone else to go fish there or if I would even go back there. Now, I guess I'll give the piece of advice obviously they're snakeheads i will probably go back there and try to fish for snakehead again but i don't recommend this place all that much um for you to come check it out if if you're coming from far away again i always say if you're close by it's a decent little spot but not overly recommended that ends up being a 31 out of 40 which looking out of my notes here because i wrote it down is 77.5 percent which is a passing rating and uh that means it's 77.5 percent fishable so there you go thanks again for watching and uh go fishing <laughs>